Congresswoman Porter, what did you learn today uh, from these uh, manufacturers of our mass murderers' favorite weapons? Well, the gun CEOs made very clear that they are unwilling to adapt technology to keep guns from being used in accidental deaths. The technology, I held up my cell phone today and I demonstrated the fingerprint identification technology that people use, for example, to unlock their iPhones and ask the gun manufacturers, will you use this as essentially a trigger lock or a gun lock? We've been studying this technology. It's been in place for over 20 years, and as studies have found that it would dramatically reduce accidental gun deaths, including those that kill children every year. And the gun manufacturers simply refused to put this safety technology in place. And the response was, our customers aren't interested. That really misses the point, Lawrence. If we don't let manufacturers sell faulty appliances, we don't let Americans buy faulty appliances, because if they short circuit and start a fire, it would burn down not only your house, but your neighbor's house. It's the exact same thing with guns. We shouldn't allow unsafe products in the marketplace, period. And so we ought to have regulation. If the gun manufacturers won't do it voluntarily, then we ought to have the same safety regulations that every single other industry in this country has to deal with. Uh, the Daniel Defense, uh, the makers of, of that mass murder weapon, uh, they actually got started with a very big uh, government contract to produce uh, these weapons of war uh, for the military. Uh, is there any consideration of, in Congress of saying uh, to these manufacturers, if you want to manufacture and sell to the military, you are not allowed to sell these weapons uh, to the public, that that's one of the conditions of having a federal contract? Well, we certainly could think about strategies like that. Look, we put a lot of conditions on federal contracts, and we need to enforce those conditions. I actually have a hearing tomorrow on this very topic with the Bureau of Land Management. Um, but we absolutely, the United States is a very large purchaser of virtually everything, including guns, um, and we ought to very well be able to use that authority to try to make sure manufacturers that we are using our tax dollars to buy their guns, to keep our country safe, that they are not turning right around and using that revenue to manufacture guns that make our communities less safe. Did you get any sense, any feeling at all that these people who enrich themselves uh, by producing these weapons used by mass murderers have any qualms about that? No, they have none. They flat out refused. The two most obstinate categories of CEOs that I have encountered, and I have a lot of contenders for this award, Lawrence, would be the gun manufacturers and big oil companies. Both of those industries simply refuse to acknowledge their role in putting Americans at risk. And that is shameful conduct for a, for a leader of a corporation.